Hello everyone, today I'm here to talk about book boyfriends. We all have them, we all have those characters that we just find so, so swoon worthy. I know I have my fair share. I thought I would film a video talking about my favorite book boyfriend. Now, I will say my tastes have changed. There have been some boyfriends that have been on this list in the past that they're not on this list anymore. Taste changed, obviously that should go without saying. <laughs> and you know, we grow up we, and things happen. Either way, I will say it takes a lot for me now to like when I read a book to find a character very, very swing really like make him like my new book boyfriend. <laughs> I think that like three years ago it was very, very easy to get on that book boyfriend list. But now that list has gotten a little bit more elusive, a little bit harder to get onto. But I mean, who would really want to be on my list anyway? <laughs> like nobody's going to covet after me. Either way, I thought I'd share with you my five or six, somewhere within that range, book boyfriends that I just love to love. First up, we're going to talk about my favorite book boyfriend of all time. Of course, this changes. Maybe this will be different in three years. Who knows? I really honestly hope not. And that is Gansey from The Raven Boys. I love Gansey. Gansey just will always have my heart. Gansey is just that guy that is so confident and like he has a certain amount of swagger I think like he's just confident he knows who he is and he's such a nice guy and he cares about his friend he cares about this mission that he's on he's very passionate and he's smart Gansey is just the best in my opinion I love Gansey and his name Gansey what a cool name and that's, that's his last name his first name is Richard but and his name is Gansey, always. I just, oh, Gansey. Like, I know a lot of people love Gansey, and I can definitely see why. Gansey is just, I feel like I've said Gansey 50,000 times already. I just, I love Gansey, obviously. Next up, this should be fairly obvious for everybody probably on the Y book community, and that is Resand from A Court of Thorns and Roses series. When I first read A Court of Thorns and Roses, I did not want anything to do with Resand, and I knew it was going to have further development in the series. That was changed immediately when I read a Mr. When I read this book because boy did that ship change like talk about a dress turn and tide this book definitely had that I fell in love with Resand. he is strong he is confident he is caring he lets Farah be who she wants to be he does not have any sort of like he tries not to control her he really honestly you know sees himself as equal in the relationship and within like night court royalty or however you want to call it I just love Resand as a character I think he is an amazing an amazing character and he is just so, so, so swoon worthy. Like, I, the swoon factor is real for Resand, and it's just, it's always going to be that way, always. <laughs> and I'm okay with that. Let's take it on back to my first ever fictional crush. My first ever fictional boyfriend that I dubbed as my boyfriend was definitely Ron Weasley from Harry Potter. I, when I first read Ron Weasley at the age of 12, I was like, I love Ron Weasley. I want to be Mrs. Weasley one day. Everything about Ron Weasley, I just love. He is such a funny, laughable, lovable character, and he's so and he's so dependable and he's so great with his friends and family. Ron is just an amazing character and I still love Ron. I would, if Ron Weasley asked me to marry him, wouldn't even hesitate. <laughs> Nor any of these characters, in case they ever come real, let me know. <laughs> but I love Ron Weasley. I think he's an overall great character. I found him so adorable. And of course, my favorite chip of all time is definitely Ron Weasley and Hermione Granger. Nothing will ever top that for me because those two are just everything to me. But I just remember back in the day when I was 12 years old and reading this for the first time, I was like, Ron Weasley, you have my 12 year old heart. We can be 12 together and be in love. I don't even know what I'm saying right now. Then of course we have Will Harrendell from the Infernal Devices series. I, this is my favorite male character in all of Cassandra Clare books. I love Will Harrendell. I think a lot of people love Will Harrendell. It doesn't surprise me in the least. Will Harrendell is that quintessential cocky, confident guy that you're like, you're too cocky and you think you're just the best, but then you're like, I love you so, so much. You know, despite him being cocky and sarcastic and things like that, he is ultimately a very good character. He really cares about his family and his, fr and his friends and always wants to do the right thing and will go to whatever lengths he can do to do the right thing and to, pro and to protect his family and friends. Will Harrendale is just the, you know, when you think of, when I think of swooning, I think of Will Harrendale, like, and his name, Will Harrendale, like Harrendale, such a beautiful, elusive last name. Like I just, oh, Will Harrendale. <sighs> the love is real for this character. I just, whew. 
Like, I would love to be Mrs. Herondale. Mrs. Herondale. That sounds so nice. Speaking of really cocky guys, I don't know why. I feel like reading about a lot of cocky guys, like the cocky guy, like the cocky, sarcastic guy, but with a good heart. My husband is not cocky at all. He is very, very humble. And <laughs> And I definitely am very attracted to that because he's my husband, obviously. But it's just weird seeing the taste in that. Like, I think, I don't know, maybe it's just more fun to read about cocky, sarcastic guys. I don't know. Either way, who I'm talking about right now is Thorne from the Lunar Chronicles. I love Thorne. I think he's great, like I said. I think I like Thorne so much because he reminds me so much of Han Solo from Star Wars. I love Han Solo. He is definitely the quintessential cocky sarcastic guy for sure but Thorne reminds me so much of Han Solo I think that's why I like him especially because he's a pilot and he's like I'm the best pilot I'm like oh that's Han Solo for sure hands down and of course he falls in love and all that other stuff but I love Thorne he's my favorite male character in the entire Lunar Chronicles and that's not saying a lot because there are so many more amazing male characters in the Lunar Chronicles I love them all but Thorne is just my favorite from that series. Then I want to talk about Khalid from the Wrath and the Dawn duology. I love Khalid because he is one of those bad boys, like, I wouldn't, why am I saying bad boy? This whole book you learn is about this king that kills a bride every night. That's not a bad boy, that's an evil man. <laughs> but you learn that he is quickly not like that, there is more to his story, and you learn that the struggles that he goes through, and he's much, and he's a much, much deeper man, and he's a very, very interesting character to read about, and he's very, very respectful of Charizard in this book, and he falls in love with her, obviously, and he's just respectful, I think, of, you know, her making her own decisions, of him not trying to tie anything upon her. I really like that in relationships where the person does not try to control the other person. I think everything should be equal. And I really found that in Colleen. I just love him overall. I love his character arc. I think him as so, so swoon-worthy. When we figure out after, he's not an evil man, not beforehand. <laughs> Lastly, I have one more book boyfriend to show you, and this one I skipped for last because he's probably the most controversial, and that is Kale from the Throne of Glass series. Kale is either a character you love or you hate. I fall on the love spectrum. I loved Kale the first two books, Throne of Glass, Crown of Midnight, then Air of Fire came out, and I feel personally like Kale was written poorly. I feel like Kale was destroyed for a ship to happen and I don't like that at all. I think Kale is such a great character and the way he was just destroyed I feel like with no meaning. I didn't feel like it was justified. I really just don't like that. So I love Kale. I feel like he's a good character that has made some bad choices that was written poorly in a particular book and I'm very very excited to see the book that's coming out about him in September. I'm really hoping that Sarah J Maas redeems him as she should personally um but either way I like Kale I don't think a lot of people do I personally love him I always have I always be see I will always root for Selena and Kale even though that will never ever happen I that ship's gone like it's it's sunk down to the ocean it's never gonna resurface it is dead I will still always hope for them though and I will always love Kale I love Kale more than I love Rowan I don't even like Rowan that much I know. I'm a horrible person. Everyone loves Rowan. I, I like Kale. I like Kale. Either way, those are my favorite book boyfriends that I thought I would share with you guys. There's a lot of other characters that I love on my shelves, but I just don't, you know, classify them as like my top book boyfriends. These are like my favorites of favorites. So like I said, it'll probably change in a couple years. Maybe I'll do one of those videos again in a couple years. If you have any book boyfriends or love interest, please leave them down in the comments below. I would love to see which ones like are your love interest, who you connect with, who if they were real, you would be like, I'm gonna find them <laughs> we're gonna be together. <laughs> if you like some of my book boyfriends also let me know. If you like this video be sure to give it a thumbs up and hit subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Mm -hmm.